This base is a precision base, Mexican precision base, bought about a month ago off eBay for a great price, I'll be honest. About 200 quid cheaper than I would have bought it in a shop. Um, it's a really nice bass, it's got a really got a punchy, deep P bass sound. Before I was using a jazz bass, which is a lot higher, kind of more, more trebly, uh, which is great for doing lead lines. If you're playing up top, um, yeah, up there it's really nice. But if you kind of want to play low and get a real thumping kind of sound, the P bass gives a, a deeper sound, which kind of suits the way layer sound a bit more. So yeah, liking the P bass at the moment. Uh, well, at the moment I'm going through a fairly simple pedal board uh, into a small Trace Elliott bass amp. Um, most shows that I play, to be honest, will have backline provided. Uh, festival shows, a lot we're doing this summer. So it's more about getting a sound that I'm happy with from my pedal board first. Uh, because at the end of the day, most of my sound is going to be coming through the monitors, out front of stage, and any bass amp I do have is more just for a sound for me on the stage. So getting the right sound at the front of the stage, the front of house, comes from this pedal for me, uh, which is a Sans Amp bass driver. When you're playing live normally, the sound they're going to get out through front of house through the mixers is just going to be the simple, clean sound of your bass without any EQ, any of the nice uh, sound of that amp, maybe a bit of distortion coming through, that natural valve sound. You're not going to get any of that front of house. So you've got the XLR output here. Uh, which will go straight to the uh, desk and you've got your jack output here so you can go into the amp as well. This, is, this version has three presets so you can uh, have a different sound for a different bass perhaps or maybe you want uh, a sound for a lead section with a little bit more, little bit more drive or a little bit more level and once you're happy with the sound you can save it on there. So this pedal I'm going to show you now is called uh, Woolly Mammoth. Uh, this isn't the official Woolly Mammoth, which costs around about £250. This is the clone version I got off eBay for about 40 quid. Uh, this gives you a massive, huge wall of fuzz sound. Uh, it's famous for uh, Muse using it in lot of their songs. Uh, it's just, it's huge, you can hear it here. <laughs> I'm going this. Yeah, so it's actually a little bit too much. You know, I don't actually ever use that much kind of fuzz. So I tone it down a bit for what I'm using and get a slightly smaller sound, which I use on one of our songs, Magnets. So you've got the. So it's kind of the gives you a sound uh, cross between a bass guitar and a synth, which I find is really useful in our kind of music. So this pedal I'm going to show you next is called the POG, uh, the Micro POG by Electro Harmonics, which stands for Polyphonic Octave Generator. So it can give you an octave above your sound as well as an octave below your sound. So you've got three octaves to play with here. So my standard tone is... If I add in an octave above, we're looking at... Okay. I can add an octave below now and get rid of the dry sound and we've got this really deep sound which probably won't come across on the, on the uh, camera, but this is a really kind of deep sound when you can compare it to the normal. So it's giving you an octave below, which is really good for kind of stepping up a gear in the choruses to some songs, or maybe getting a kind of dubby sound. Uh, it really gives you that kind of oomph that you kind of feel in your belly more than here, if anything. This last pedal I hit isn't really going to set the world on fire with its sounds. It's more of a workhorse practical pedal. It's a Boss Line Selector LS, LS2. So what this allows me to do, and the way I use it, is to blend the sound of a really extreme pedal, like the Woolly Mammoth I was showing you earlier, with my dry bass, bass sound. So I can uh, keep the low end of my bass and mix in a more extreme sound. 
So I've got the extreme sound of the woolly mammoth on its own. It sounds something like, like this. But it's a bit too much, so I want to blend in a bit of my normal bass sound as well, which is kind of sounding like this. So if I add the two together, we end up with somewhere in between, which... Which is something a bit nice and more palatable for the everyday consumer music.